Hi guys, my name is William Hussey. I'm the author of LGBTQYA love story Hideous Beauty that centers on the relationship between a couple, Dylan and Ellis. And Yelk have asked me to do a rundown of my favorite LGBTQ couples and romances. So here we go. The first one, an absolute classic, Becky Arbatelli's Simon versus the Homo sapien agenda with Simon and Blue. Probably the sweetest of LGBTQ romances. Not so much a will they, won't they, as a who even is he? The finale is still possibly the most swoon-worthy in the genre. Next up, we have Noah and Harry from Simon James Green's Noah Can't Eve It. Simon James Green has created in Noah this hapless but intensely lovable character who can't see the truth staring him in the face, but we as the reader can and we're willing him on. And through a series of hilarious misadventures, Noah finally comes to realise the truth. Next up, Rafe and Ben from Bill Coningsberg's Openly Straight. It's a bit of a complicated one, this one. I don't want to give too much away, but with Rafe and Ben, Bill Coningsberg has created um, a, just a beautiful study in friendship that sometimes looks like it's going to tip over into something else. The ending is very bittersweet, but very fulfilling. Next up, we have Matteo and Rufus from Adam Silvera's They Both Die at the End. It's a masterclass in telling us what to expect in the story. I mean, the title says it all while making us still hope against hope as we fall in love with these characters that it will work out well for them in the end. Journey is everything with this book. Lastly, a new favourite, a new read, Liz and Mac from Leah Johnson's You Should See Me in a Crown. It's a vibrant LGBTQ romance set against the pressures and anxieties of the end of school life and the adult world just looming on the horizon. This book takes the tropes of romance and upends them and embraces them so I'd really recommend everyone go out and read it. Okay, so those are my choices. I hope you enjoyed them.